First up on our agenda this evening is audience communications, and we have Mr. Doug Coates. Good evening, Mr. Coates. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you doing? Good. Okay. Uh, thanks for allowing me to speak this evening. Uh, my name is Doug Coates. I'm a teacher at Churchill, um, and I also wanted to make it clear that I'm not speaking for my school or my colleagues. It's just me talking as an individual. Um, I come before you tonight to um, just remind you that um, and encourage you to think about your employees as you're going through your budget discussions. Um, I know that it's a very serious discussion, a very serious time in Livonia School's history, um, and I recognize that. Sometimes when I, when I hear community members or the public talk about um, shock or outrage about how much of a school district's budget is employee cost, I'm surprised because I don't know what they would expect it to be. So as a teacher, I recognize that you have to take those costs into consideration. But I also want to remind you that you know the employees, the, the teachers, the parapros, the secretaries, the bus drivers, the principals, those are all your hands, those are your feet, those are your faces of the district. And um, those people are um, feeling very under attack by the public right now. And we hope that as you consider your budget discussions that you would keep that in mind, that they're already feeling a lot of negativity. Um, I also am very concerned about um, one other thing, and that is that you made a very strong commitment to the superintendent, Dr. Leopa, a few months ago, and that was a very honorable commitment. Um, as we go look forward to the legislation, I don't look forward to it personally, but as the board looks forward to the legislation that is pending in Lansing about benefit costs for uh, school employees, uh, if the teachers and the parapros, and if that contract expires and goes away, um, we could be looking at a situation where the employees of the district are paying more for their benefits than the superintendent is. And I would encourage the board to think about that, whether it's to, mo to modify it, um, to modify that impact of that legislation on, on me and my colleagues, or it's whether to do something else, so that we all feel like we're in this together and not just um, the employees are taking the hit on something that Lansing's doing. So, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Coates. Um, I, I do want to address the fact that we are extremely grateful for everything that our employees do do for us. We do try to recognize all of our employees at our board meetings to thank them for everything that they do um, when they work for us and then also what they do in evenings and outside of their daily tasks. There's a lot of volunteer hours that are put in by all of our employees in this district and we truly thank them for that. <coughs> 